What's going on, YouTube? What's happening? Beretta 19 here. Calling is uh, just checking in with you guys. You know, got another uh, important topic to talk about today. This one gonna hit home big time for a lot of people, especially uh, people that are African American, such as myself. You know, black, whatever you want to put it. Um, please, before I begin, though, please like, comment, subscribe. Please uh, leave a bunch of comments down in the section for me. Let me know what next topic you guys want me to touch on. And, of course, you guys know I will be back doing my shooting videos soon. I'm going to get better with the quality. I'm going to get better with the videos as well. But, like I said, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see, what you want me to talk about, and everything. Also, smash the like button for me. Okay. With that being said, you guys, today I want to talk about black-on-black -black crimes. My brothers out there, we're fighting a losing battle. The way things are set up against us and everything, sorry about that. The way things are set up against us and everything is designed for us to fail. Us as African-American black men, it's designed for us to, okay? The way that people do things, the way that people treat us and everything, the way that our criminal justice system is, is designed for us to be incarcerated. In case you didn't know, especially to my younger black men, when we get put in jail, they make money off us. That's why they do everything they can, tell all the damn lies, make all these bullshit rules that they can to incarcerate our black asses. The best way to get rid of a nigga, either throw him in jail or kill him. Or kill him. If you throw him, I prefer, I'm speaking as I'm the government and society, I prefer to throw him in jail and everything because I can make money off him while he wastes his life away. If they can't do that, if they on terms of keeping you alive, then they want to get a felony on your record. Now, in that example, you can't go get certain jobs. You can't get, so if, I'm, if I heard correctly, you can't get tuition. You can't get none of this stuff, you know, from colleges and stuff. You can't get none of that. It's designed for us to fail. It's designed for us and everything to die off. And everything, there's a reason why African American make up less of the population. There's a reason for it. Why we always call the minority. There's a reason for that. Wake up, black man. Wake up. Y'all run around here shooting each other and killing each other. You playing right into the white man's hands. You playing right into their hands. And the reason why I say white man and everything is because who else run who else controls stuff? And I ain't talking about our president. I'm not talking about our president. Not talking about him. Shit was like this even before I was born, he was born, anybody was born. They don't like our black asses. I don't care. You do all these little aqua times and our Susie's. Brandon, what is an aqua time? This is my definition. An aqua time is a black man with a white man's attitude, and an Aunt Susie is a black woman with a white woman's attitude. That's my definition of it. They see things, they although they have black skin, but they see things as uh through white lens, white white lenses. Okay, that's how it is. Black men wake up. They make money off throwing your ass in jail. They put all they set all these traps and everything. Now I'm gonna tell you something else. We're products of our environment. They sit they sit you down in an environment and everything where if you're a single parent mother and everything, when you're raising a little bitty boy or a little bitty girl, they sit you in the projects because they figure that's all we can afford. That's why they do stuff like that. They talk about welfare. They talk about everything. Now, let me explain something to you, okay? Because I didn't grow up in Filthy Rich and Bentley and Rolls Royces. And, man, I didn't grow up in that shit either. They do this stuff and everything because to them, we're the scum of the barrel. We're the bottom of the barrel to them. In other words, black people ain't shit. Now, they had one fireman and everything. Of course, they talking about he's going to be disciplined. Ain't shit going to happen to him. They had a fireman that say it's better to save a dog than to save a nigga out of a burning house. Now, what do that tell you? Y'all y'all run around here shooting and killing each other and everything. What, you're playing right into their hands. What do you accomplish by killing each other? That's what they want you to do. And I'm going to tell you another reason why that is. Why y'all do that? Again, it's a result of the environment you place in. See, what America do, think of two black men or two as two big lions. They hungry as hell. They have not eaten in have not eaten, excuse me, in months. They have not eaten in months. What they do, and they're not fighting, they're not feeling it. The two remember, two black men are the two lions. Okay? They're in the same cage. They're not fighting, they're not feeling it. The way America is, 
They got a whole wagon full of uh, red meat, zebra, whatever the hell, you know, the lions eat and everything out full. They get it, get them full and complete. They can give equally to both of them. So both of them and everything will be equally fed. America don't do that. What America do is that they throw one piece of meat in there and watch the two lions fight each other over it and kill each other over it and everything. That's what they do. America always complain, oh, I don't like niggas. I don't like black people. They always evil. They always mean. They always crazy. They always got an attitude. Hell, look through history. We got a damn good reason to have one. Look all this low down shit that be going on. Every uh, black man, everything that have uh, as in that uh, that has uh, lived in this country, every black man, just about every black man that's lived in this country and everything, their goal, America's goal, is to get them either in a patrol car, in jail, or killed. They don't want no successful black man. And to my people out there that say, oh, that's a load of crap. You have the right to try to make your own way and everything. Well, let me explain something to you. When, you're, when you wake up in the morning and you look in that mirror and you see there's a black man or a black woman standing there, don't come telling me nothing. I don't want to hear that shit. When you're walking down the street, Trayvon Martin, and you got a hoodie on your head. Let me put my damn hood right now. And you got a hoodie on your head and you ain't bothering nobody. And some asshole come messing with you and everything. You have a right to defend yourself because he wasn't no cop. All of a sudden he gets shot and everything because he getting his ass whooped by a kid. And he get off. Something's wrong there. I tell you one thing. Had it been some, uh, hey, he had a group of dudes with him and everything. Old boy wouldn't have done that. These are situations America don't want to talk about. Just like when uh, Colonel, I can't say the man's uh, name right for none. Connor Caparit, I can't say his name right, but you know the football player that kneeled on the, uh, what is that, the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and everything. I don't blame him for kneeling. And to people who uh, object, I see as a truck driver, I see I walk in truck stops all the time. I see shirts say, oh, this country, this flag offend you, leave. You disrespecting the flag, you full of shit. You're not disrespecting no flag. The problem is the Pledge of Allegiance is a load of shit. It's bullshit. We are not an allegiance here. I'm going to play it to some play, uh, play to something, everything that don't exist. We don't get treated equally. Remember, liberty for justice for all. We all know that's a damn lie. Right now, me and a white boy can go commit the exact same crime. I ain't got no criminal record, never been in no trouble and everything. We can commit the exact same crime. I bet you the amount of money we I get more time than he would. That's how America is. Hell, he, he might get off and everything, a pat on the back. They don't treat us, African Americans, black men, as they do any as they do white men. They never have, they never will. And if you're not a black man, ain't no way in hell you can understand. Until you wake up in the morning and you see there's a black man looking back at you in that mirror, then you will understand something. Until then, don't give me that bullshit. I'm telling you. I'm a black man myself, proud to be black, just like James Brown said, and everything, I'm black and I'm proud. And I, I enjoy, and everything, the luxury of being a black man. To America and everything, that's, that's a disgrace. You're an abomination. And then they get a problem with all these interracial relationships and everything. Hell, as long as this man and woman, not man and man, but man and woman, shouldn't be no problem. But because of the way, again, where America is and everything, they figure if a black man's dating a white girl, something's wrong with her. She's a quote-unquote nigger lover. That's bullshit. Let me tell you something else that I don't like. They sit here and everything. As a say, for example, you take a black corporate man who, who's been bred through hell, you know, worked his ass off, and you say he owned a big, owned a big time million dollar company. Pro, pro, no big props to you, brother. The problem is with that and everything, him owning that company and everything, instead of them pushing another African-American woman in his face, pushing another black woman in his face and everything, you know, given the uh, event that he's not married or not seen anybody, they go push a white lady in his face. Because their figure and everything, the way America figures and everything, white men and white women should get the best of the best. If it's an educated black man, and he got his stuff together, and he owned business and everything, they figure they should be the one that marry him, not no black person. I heard somebody once say and everything that 
if if there is a piece of bologna on the table and there's a piece of steak on the table and everything, the black man should take the bologna and the white man should take the steak. I once heard somebody say that. To me, that's bullshit. You ain't no different than me. I'm going to tell you, I don't know about y'all, but I love steak. My favorite is ribeye. I don't care how you cook a steak. Me, I like my steak well done. Okay? Some people like their steak rare. Some people like their steak medium well. And some people like their steak well done. I got news for you. Same principle applies to human to humanity and everything. It's still a steak. No matter how you cook it. No matter even if you burn it. It's still a steak. Put away the bullshit, America. And to my black men out there, get your shit together. This shit is set up against us. Do you think really think the government give a damn about you? They make money off you by throwing you in jail. You got even black men. It's sad to say in God, whoa, oh, and everything. Shame on you. You got black men in own prison, their own prisons. I ain't going to go into the name because I know the name, but they own prisons. How the hell you help incarcerating your own people? Don't you think enough of that shit go on? I'm sorry, Uncle Tom's and everything. I ain't selling nobody out. I'm not doing that. That's the problem. All this shit go on and everything. Well, don't nobody want to talk about it. Hey, it ain't bothering me. It ain't bothering my family. Look at the uh, the situation with uh, Tamir Rice. Roll up and shot the boy. You shoot quickly. You quick to shoot and kill one of us and everything. But you take your time and negotiate like that crazy nigga went down. A crazy white boy went down and shot him people in that movie theater. You quick to tell. You try to negotiate with him. But when it come to us, shoot that nigga. You'll get a promotion. Look at all these recent shootings, everything. Everything involving African-American and policemen. Then you wonder why us as black men don't respect cops. Look at the lowdown shit y'all do. You harass us. You got to hem us up all out of the car and everything. We ain't done nothing. Got no drugs or nothing on it. But you got to harass us. In other words, nigga, what you doing with your black ass out here? You don't belong out here. You belong in the ghetto. Go sell some drugs or something. Go gang bang. That's how they look at us. And to all my black men in jail and everything, trust and believe. Keep praying. Hopefully and prayerfully, God will find a way to try to give you another chance or work something out. But they design it that way. They make money. out. All you black men are sitting in jail. They making money off you. There's a reason why they got more black men in jail than they do any other race. Because they make they get more money for black men than they do white men or any other race. They get more money for black men, for our black asses, than they do any other race. And they a damn lie they say they don't. They sit here, they build all these jails up and everything and so they can make money off of prison, off throwing us in prison and everything. And a lot of times, a lot of you black men sitting in jail, you probably didn't even do the damn crime. But because you were pressing. Because there was, there was a lie told on you. Oh yeah, that was him, that was him. No damn well it wasn't you. Who gonna believe you? The only thing I'm telling you guys and everything, don't help America destroy yourselves. Do not help and aid America eliminate the black race. And you damn Uncle Tom's out there and everything. Y'all need y'all ass whoop. Y'all know better. I don't give a damn how much education, how much company you own, how much money you got. Fuck all that. How you gonna sell out your own damn race? I got news for you. Uncle Tom's and I sues you, big corporate women out there. I don't want them black kid, black people around me. Let me tell your little uppity ass something. I got news for you. I don't care how rich you get. I don't care how much money you get. I don't care what you do in this life. I don't care how much, where you go in this life. According to America, if your ass ain't white, you ain't right. You still a nigga to them. Whether you a millionaire or a bum on the street, you still a nigga to them. Got news for you. Hate to break it to you, but I got to keep it real. Get it together, black man. And you young black dudes, stay out of school. I'm going to correct myself. Stay out of trouble, I'm sorry, in school. Don't be getting the fights in school. I repeat again, do not be getting the fights in school. Let me tell you what they do that they don't do to white kids. When two white kids get into a fight and everything, this is something I know for a fact. When two white kids get into a fight, they call their parents up there. Two teenage white boys get into a fight, they call their parents up there. Let's talk, let's do this, or make some old bullshit excuse for them. Two black, young black boys get into a fight, they call the police. Why are they calling the police, Brandon? Why are they doing that? I'll tell you why they're doing that. Because they're trying to hurry up and get a damn felony on your record. Catch that nigga when he's early. 
Catch that nigga early before he become an adult. Get that felony on this record. We got him. As soon as they get that felony on your record, they have accomplished their goal. If I can't kill you, I'm going to incarcerate you. If I can't incarcerate you, I'm going to put a flag on your record. That way it prevents you from getting most stuff and everything that the average man would get. Wake up, y'all. Life ain't all about a big party. Oh, where the women at? Where the, where this at and everything. Wake your ass up. You hitting that block talking about selling that drug. Oh, I got to hustle, hustle, hustle and everything. You ain't doing but hustling your dumb ass right in the jail or dead. That's all you're doing. Well, Brandon, that's the only thing I know. Sad once again, because that's the environment you've been placed in. Dad probably in jail now or dead. And it's probably just you and mama trying to make it. They don't care about that. That's why I told you and everything. Their job, their job is two things. Excuse me, three things. First, I got to find a way to kill them. I'm sick. I don't like niggas. That's what America's saying. Well, of course not me. That's what America's saying. I don't like niggas. Second thing, I got to find a way to uh, incarcerate niggas, throw they waste their life away, and get paid off or profit off doing it. Ain't it weird how they pay people to watch over the uh, the jail and everything while their prisoners are in there, but they don't pay people how to keep the kids from becoming prison? They don't do that. My favorite rapper uh, uh, spoke on that. Name I would not give. You you pay more money to watch over prisons than you do to keep kids from becoming in prison. Something's wrong with that. Wake up, America. Wake up, black men. They don't like your black ass. I don't care how much money. You athlete, whatever. Screw up and do something wrong. See how much shit they throw at you. See how much shit they take away from you. It's up to you. You think I'm bullshitting with you and everything? Check through history. Look at our, look at the great Dr. Martin Luther King uh, Jr., one of the smartest men, period, to walk God's earth. And America, not no damn terrorist, America put a bullet in the back of his damn head. Should I continue? How many black men suffered so we can have what we have? They talk shit about Obama. People say Obama this, he didn't do this, he didn't do that, everything. Again, I am not Democrat or Republican. I don't give a damn about no politics. I'm talking about one thing and one thing only. There's a reason why we only have one black president in this country. There's a reason for that. Y'all don't tell me they were not no black men intelligent. Oh, they were intelligent. The problem is them getting to presidency, it, 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 let's just say it didn't happen. Wake up, black man. You want to keep on making America money by incarcerating your dumb ass? Then keep hitting that block. Keep gang banging, shooting and killing each other. Tell talking to everybody that's black and black men around the world. Keep doing it. See what happened. And my black men who got interracial, um, uh, interracial uh, couple and everything. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But I'm going to tell you the challenges that you're going to uh, go through. Number one, your child, once they find out your child is uh, as a white mother or a white father or a black mother or a black father, whatever whatever your situation is, they're going to pick on him, especially if he's in predominantly white school. They're going to pick on him. They Because we have white people figure that, hey, keep it in your race. Don't mess our race up, nigga. Keep it in your race. Leave us alone. That's how they feel about it. Me, personally, I'm not prejudiced at all, but I keep it 100. I keep it 100 with you all the time. This is the shit that go on that nobody care to talk about. Get it together, America. Get it together, black men. Wake up. Life ain't about a, always about a party. It ain't about hitting a joint. There are three ways America gets you and everything. Number one, when you're born a black man, you got a bullseye on the back of your head. Number two, how many of y'all, if I had a million dollars in my hand, can pass a drug test? Can you pass a drug test? If you can pass a drug test, I'll give you a million dollars. If I had it, no strings attached. Can you pass a drug test? And number three, how they get you and everything, background check. That's why they try to catch you early to my teenagers who get into fights in school. And they're not calling your mama and dad, dad. They're calling the police on you two black kids. Because they're trying to get that felony on your record. They're trying their best to. They don't do white kids like that. They don't search and harass white kids like that. They do that to your ass. I promise you, let a carload of white boys get to driving by a police officer. You won't do shit. Let a carload of black men come driving by police. Rear, rear. They pulling your ass over. 
And then what pisses me off, they got to get everybody up out of the car. Like we got drugs or guns or something on us. Wake up. They don't like your black ass, whether you rich or poor, Uncle Tom and Aunt Susie. Wake up. I don't care how much education you have. I don't give a damn. That don't mean shit to them. You still a nigga. Wake up. Until the next video, I'll catch y'all next time. Take care. Wake up, black man. Wake up.